In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a front-end dashboard for your users and clients. So let's say you have a website and you either want to restrict access to a particular content or page, or you just want to allow your users create an account and have uh, functionalities like forget password or change their avatar image or anything like this. So we are going to do it with a free plugin, which is my favorite plugin for creating membership websites. There are different plugins that you can use, but we are going to use this plugin. And I'm also using the free version of Astra theme, so you can use any theme that you want. So I just bring my admin panel and plugins and add new. And I'm just going to search for ultimate member. This is the plugin that we are going to use. The free version allows you to just create anything that you want. It's an awesome plugin. There are other plugins that you can use. So you can just search for membership plugins for WordPress, but I always use this awesome plugin. So now we have our plugin and this plugin uh, needs uh, some pages to just work. You can create the pages yourself, but it's just easier to just click on create pages. So I'm just going to click on create pages. And basically now we have the pages and it's going to map the user page to the page called the user, which it has created. Now I just click on save changes. And now if I bring my pages, you can see that we have a bunch of pages, um, logout, login and password reset. These are the pages that this plugin has created for us. So now uh, we are going to customize some of these pages, but first I want to link to these pages because uh, I don't have these pages on my menu. Of course, you don't want to add all of them. You just want to add the pages that you want. Uh, for example, my account or maybe log in or log out. But in this case, I'm just going to add all of them. So I bring my appearance and menus and I'm just going to select my primary menu and add, let's say we want to add not all of them, but account and register and um, user or maybe login and uh, Logout also allows us to log out. This is not a page, only a link that will log users out. You can uh, have it other in other places. You, uh, they also have it uh, on the account page. So you really do not need it, but I'm just going to add it and add all of them into the, my menu and save menu. And now if I visit my website, we have these uh, pages and links. And for example, if I click on account, it's uh, showing uh, my account. Uh, I'm the admin of this website. So I'm just going to uh, open a new tab in a private men window. So I'm just going to open a new tab and I'm just going to put both of them side by side. So you can just see what we are doing uh, here and see what a non-logged in user will see. So now if I just open the link of my website, so in uh, account, as you can see, it's going to show the login page because of course we are not logged in and we can just simply register. So uh, as you can see, it's functioning right now, but uh, this is not probably what you want. You want to have easy register pages maybe, or you just want to customize everything to your needs. So by default, uh, and out of the box, it gives you a full functioning a membership uh, account and of course dashboard. So people can log out, people can log in, um, they have their account and when they are signed in, they can just change their password, uh, change some privacy settings here, delete their account, which is super cool. And they also can upload a profile image and write something that's awesome. So you have all of the basic features of a membership website by default you can just customize them remove what you don't need or add some other stuff people can also check out their comments and see uh, their recent comments which is super cool so now i'm just going to 
show you how we can customize this thing. So there are two places that you should start customizing. The first is the settings offered by this plugin. So if I just uh, click on Ultimate Member, of course, here we have an overview of our users. So we have one user right now, which is me, of course, uh, the owner of this website, but uh, it just shows you the number of your users. And if I just uh, bring uh, my setting here, of course, you are mapping the pages. You don't need to touch these settings here. They're just fine. Uh, we can see the, uh, some options for users and accounts and uploads. So you can just, for example, uh, change the maximum size for images and it's better that uh, they're not uh, too large. So you want to stick with something like 10 megabyte or maybe less because this is just a profile image. So I think one megabyte would be just fine and valid, but maybe five megabyte or something like this. You have image quality uh, and then we have access and this is the amazing part. So you can restrict access to specific parts of your website. There are plugins that just made for this uh, feature, but this also allows you to just do it so. And uh, by default, site is accessible to everyone. But if I just set it accessible to logged in users, and I can have a custom redirect URL, so when they are visiting a page that they cannot visit, they will be redirected to this URL. It just makes sense to just use our register URL or maybe login URL. So I'm just going to copy my login URL and put it here. And of course we are not using uh, pretty permalinks. You can just come into settings and permalinks and use a post name, which looks just much beautiful and it's better for your SEO. And now I can add my URL and uh, this is the message that we will show to users. So for example, I can just uh, Type here this page is restricted. Something like this just looks fine. And you can uh, set uh, the restriction for your posts or pages or anything. It's better that you have a custom post type. So it's showing you custom post types here. We only have these post types, but uh, we have a tutorial on how to create a custom post types because you usually do not want to restrict the access to all of your blog posts. So it just makes sense to create a custom post type for your restricted content and then just restrict it to that custom post type. But for now, we are just going to restrict access to posts and pages. And now if I click on save change, and now a visitor, if tries to visit about, you see it's going to redirect them to the login page. So they cannot see anything unless they register and log in. And then the nice thing is that you can change the form. So we have a registration form. And by default, it's going to use username, first name, last name, email, and password. But you usually want to modify. Of course, you can modify some of the requirements here. So if I just click on username, we have the minimum length and the maximum length or anything like this, but we can just completely remove first name and last name so that we only have username, email address, and password. So if I just update it, now a user if just tries to register, will only see username password. So let's just register a user. So I'm just going to, for example, user one and email address is just user one, one at sign example.com. And we are going to set the password. I'm just going to click on register and now a user is registered here. They can see the latest comments. They can change the about and change the profile picture and many other things. So it's just fine. They can also upload a cover photo, which is super cool. And now they have access to all the pages. So we have the setting for forms and finally user roles. You don't need to touch, touch this because you want to have everyone as a subscriber probably. And that's fine. So these are the settings. But now how we can um, make it match your brand or add additional things. So let's say 
uh, you want to show an additional widget. So in the account page, you want to have something below this account page. Maybe you want to uh, give them access to some functionalities that you have. For example, you have WooCommerce, you want to give them access to some functionalities of WooCommerce. It's easy if you have a shortcut for that. So you have to use a plugin probably like Elementor or Page Builder to just modify. You can just go with Gutenberg because it supports source code. But in this tutorial, we're going to use Elementor. So I just bring my pages. And let's say we want to edit our account page. So I just uh, select my account page. And as you can see, we have a shortcut here. So it's basically working with shortcuts. And you can just embed this account section anywhere on your website just using the shortcut, which is super cool. But now we can use Elementor. So I'm just going to set a temple, template into Elementor full width. And now if I just edit it with Elementor, I can basically add anything that I want. So for example, if I just uh, want to have, a, let's say, a Google map, I can just put it here. And now if I update, and refresh my page, and bring account again, we have the Google map. So you can add functions. Of course, showing a Google map and account doesn't make sense. But if you have a short code that allows you to just, for example, search for something, visit something, or any kind of functionality, you can just put it. You can also put something above or just create sections here. Everything is just fine. You cannot change the fields from Elementor. You have to do it from the plugin itself. You have also some color options uh, from the plugin. So if I just bring my admin panel and ultimate member and setting, And appearance, you can see that we have a bunch of options here for the appearance, but if you want to style them, you can just do it with CSS. We have a tutorial on that, and that's it, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more WordPress content. And like always, you can reach our team from the link in the description.